Hi guys, it's taken quite a few shots and more time than I expected to really gather enough data and iron out my opinions on the accuracy of the Taipan Veteran Compact. I, I feel like I'm there though and the results were, at least to me, surprising. Most of the data I collected was at short ranges to match the intended use of the gun. So at 25 meters, my go-to gun is my 22 Veteran Long. That gun is capable of shooting a perfect 250 score on one of the targets. And the Veteran Compact, I don't believe, is capable of that, that kind of accuracy. Um, it's just not quite as precise. I would say that the 22 Long averages above a 240 target score. I mean, it's capable of 250s, but I something's really got to go wrong for me to shoot anything under a 240. Whereas most all of my targets with the compact were in the 230 range. Uh, when stretching it out to 50 meters, uh, it's, it's showing it's more than capable. These were some really good groups that I shot with it at 50 meters with no wind. Um, I've got an idea on what happened on that one, even though there was no wind. The gun isn't really easy to act, easy to shoot this accurately and I'll explain why in a second. I almost did a video where I was going to badmouth the accuracy at distance because I was getting what I thought were just a bunch of flyers and it turned out this gun is pretty hold sensitive when you shoot it. One of the advantages of the bullpup is that it's balanced so well that all the weight is in the back. So one of the problems I've been having is when I shoot with the bipod on it, there's really no weight holding it down. So if I don't put much pressure on the gun and I shoot the gun, even, even though it's only shooting at like 18 and a half foot pounds, the gun will tend to bounce, kind of slide around and move because there's no weight really holding the bipod, bipod down to the table. And so what I found when I am shooting groups, I need to either have my hand out there holding onto the bipod, a bipod to put some pressure down on it or literally hold down on the gun just to keep some consistency. Today there were some breezy conditions and I just shot this one just to give you a more representative sample. Uh, the wind was pretty consistent right here, but again you're looking at, I mean it's sub half inch easy. Um, you know, here it was grouping really, really good, and then I noticed when that one shot, sure enough, I looked at the wind and it had shifted, going the opposite direction. Made total sense. Um, these two groups here, there were two shots going this way, then I noticed the wind shift, and sure enough, they all started grouping right there. Basically, when the conditions are good, the groups look like this, and when the wind is shifting, the wind pushes. I don't know what the wind is. I'll try to show. I, I took some video of what the weather looks like and the wind is shifting back and forth but it's not ripping or anything it's probably three to five miles an hour it's nothing crazy offhand accuracy results also aren't well they're not bad they're just not as impressive as I was hoping they would be I'm getting pretty much the same results as when I was shooting last year with my Steyr hunting 5 automatic um, I'm not a really good offhand shot I practicing to get better. I was kind of hoping that maybe this gun would kind of kick my scores up a noticeable bit without me actually having to put the work in, kind of like a shortcut, and I'm not finding that to be the case. I'm getting groups comparable to what I was getting last year. One of the reasons for me getting the 177 Compact was that I was under the impression that bull pups would be easier to shoot offhand, a little lighter balanced, easier to keep stable. And so far in my testing, I'm not finding that to be the case. The compact isn't really that much more stable than my 22 long when I'm shooting offhand. Um, there is a statistical difference. I do get better groups with the 177 than I do with the 22 long, but not as significant as I was really hoping for. Apparently, if I'm going to become a better shot, I'm going to have to earn it the old-fashioned way.